This is Pray Love. And I'm going to do another video uh, on the first impression that I have here. It's Invictus Aqua. Uh, now, I, n I never do any more videos of like um, impression that I test on myself because I'm so addicted to Dior Homme Intense that I don't wear anything else at the moment. But still, I can do like some tissue uh, tests of uh, other fragrances that I don't know of. This one has like a lot of hype. It's Invictus Aqua. It's discontinued and the hype is so huge uh, around that fragrance. Uh, it must be fresh. I don't know. Let's go check it out. Oh, I kind of like it. It reminds me of a an even fresher version of that fragrance that I have that I love by the same brand. It's a Paco Rabanne too. It's called One Million Cologne. Um, and this has the same vibe and it has the same like flowery undertone that I really love. Um, it's definitely very sexy and especially for a fresh like kind of aquatic fragrance it's killer like for real it's very really good it's kind of thick but still aquatic still um, very wearable in any situation I would wear that like totally wear that in summer in evenings in summer, something like that. On the beach, you know, very hot climate. It's very good. It's it's Paco Rabanne, you know, so it's sweet, it's youthful, it's playful, it's seductive, very alluring. Like there is, they are loyal to their own brand with Invictus Aqua. It's very much uh, Paco Rabanne fragrance, and uh, dare I say, a very good one. I think. Hmm. I kind of like at first sniff. I kind of understand the hype. Sometimes you you, you smell something and you're like, what is the hype all about? But this one, I really understand. I like. If we were to put colors, like one million cologne would be yellow, orange, burnt a bit, and this one would be blue, but like sky blue, or even evening blue maybe, but still, you know, the sky, the it, it maybe like you know when the the sun is going down and the bright like colors in the sky. This is pretty much it, and it's like Paco Rabanne, so you know, cocktail in hand, uh, flirty attitude, um, youth, uh, you know, youthful adventures, very good. I'd be curious, it, it seems that there's, like, this one is discontinued, it seems. I don't know why I still had, like, a... I still had a, a little sample of that one that I never opened. This one seems to be discontinued, but I think um, that there is like copycats, like uh, similar fragrances or fragrances that try to, to get that DNA um, because it was like it's it's a very big hype. This one uh, you you will hear about it a lot if you get into the fragrance community. And yeah, I was smelling that. But what I would say to you is, if it's not discontinued, I hope it's not discontinued. But like I have a bottle of it, and I don't think it is. Uh, get yourself one million cologne. You're gonna have like this kind of vibe, 
that is like very beach worthy like you know very little dress is needed to wear that kind of fragrance <laughs> but um the other one is it's very similar but it's it has a bit more depth and uh, more like a tobacco um sexy evening kind of like it's i think it's even better than the invictus aqua but it's weird because i didn't quite like invictus i remember i should try it back i guess but i did i don't think i really liked invictus but invictus aqua is like yeah it's kind of a something that something i want to check out maybe the see uh what are the copycats and what do they offer and is it a copycat of something else why was it discontinued i don't know but like i said that same kind of energy and vibe less sweet more like sensual and like carnal and stuff get with minion cologne it's and i think that I'd, i have never smelled it so I might be wrong, but I think that uh, One Million Privé also has a nice mature vibe that is not like very uh, beach uh, thing like Invictus Aqua and One Million Cologne, but still, uh, I think Paco Rabanne is uh, sometimes overlooked because people are like, oh, this is for douchebags and stuff, but they've got something right. Like the, the douchebags, they want to, to be uh, seductive and alluring. Paco Rabanne, like their goal is to have seductive alluring fragrances very sweet and they think about um what people like what people like it gets their nose you know and they do it very well they're professionals in that you know it's it's not like a uh you put a bunch of douchebags and they're like oh yeah put tobacco and no no it's it's like they they're thinking like hmm what could be the most seductive notes and alluring notes that you could put in a fragrance and they, they've done it multiple times pure excess one million invictus the flankers of all of their brands superb so um yeah i think it's really good but like i said i kind of on first sniff i mean you know i need to wear it but first sniff it's awesome I kind of prefer one million cologne so that's it and I will make my research about what does this come from is there alternatives out there and uh, I will tell you more about that for the meantime spread love spray love bye bye